In the northeastern part of Paris, Master Corporal Dréon and his team carry out the sixth intervention of the day. Ça doit être là, je pense. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Vous avez mal où Au ventre Non, vous êtes consommateur de drogue Ouais, mais oui, d'habitude. Monsieur, on va vous emmener à l'hôpital. L'hôpital, il est à côté. Allez, venez. Ça fait moins de 30 fois que ça arrive. Mais, monsieur, monsieur, écoutez-moi. Vous comprenez bien qu'on ne peut pas rester trois heures ici. Nous, on doit s'occuper de plein de gens ici. Donc, je comprends que ça vous fasse du bien. Maintenant, on a attendu. On a attendu. On a attendu le temps qu'il fallait. Maintenant, vous allez vous mettre sur la chaise. Et on va tranquillement aller dans l'ambulance. On est juste à côté de l'hôpital. Vous m'avez Attends, Dominique. Putain, pas Donc, maintenant, vous nous laissez prendre les constantes. On vous emmène à l'hôpital voir un médecin. Il va vous donner quelque chose pour que ça aille mieux. Donc, si vous nous laissez travailler tranquillement, ça perdra moins de temps. Et plus vite vous serez à l'hôpital, plus vous serez pris en charge. On est d'accord in cases like this, we're much more healthcare fighters than firefighters. That's 80% of our interventions. But that's the way it is. Around the clock every day, the Paris Fire Brigade responds to about 1,400 calls, the number increasing 4% in a year. Its resources are stretched to the limit, according to the French Court of Auditors. Yet these men cannot go on strike. In Paris and in Marseille, the fire brigade is part of the military. Needless to say, these strikes mean more calls and interventions in the next few days. With the disruption of public transport, we'll have to adapt. Our fire departments are fully mobilized, but we'll do our best to let you go home when possible. Once again, it's time to show that in dark times, our light shines the brightest. Good luck. Save or perish, that's the motto for the Paris Fire Brigade. Most of them don't actually live in the capital and make long-distance commutes to work a 48-hour shift. At this station, the alarm goes off 30 to 50 times a day. Fires only account for 2.5% of the calls. Accidents, medical emergencies and other rescues make up the great majority of their interventions. Like this person who complained of chest and arm pains. Monsieur, vous n'avez pas parlé. Fermez les yeux et on va faire l'électrocardiogramme. The patient probably didn't need an ambulance to take him to hospital. Ah, vous avez une voiture Ça va vite. Ah, puis vous emmener à l'hôpital. C'est pas well, of course, we prefer to intervene for a fire. That's supposed to be our job. So yes, if we can put into practice what we're always training for, it's much more interesting and it gets our motivation back. Those staying at the station are busy running ladder drills. They're practicing their skills to quickly rescue people trapped inside burning apartments. Like they often do, the firemen took their ladder engine out onto the street, not to battle a blaze, but to remove a metal beam dangling from a building. They were met with insults from a driver who lost his patience waiting behind the engine. Some people don't understand. We're not blocking the street for the sake of it, but to prevent a four-meter beam from falling on their heads. And we're the ones getting insulted. In 2018, 317 Paris firefighters faced insults and harassment, a 60% increase from the previous year. Their work is demanding, all the more reason to stay fit. They exercise for two hours a day. You always have to be ready, because you never know when you'll have to climb a hook ladder to save an entire family from the top floor of a building. You have to spring into action with no time to spare. It's important to keep your physical and mental strength all the time. Still a little out of breath, it's time to leave again. 
A doctor has called an ambulance for a five-month-old baby. Though it didn't seem like a real emergency, it was their duty to take the infant to the nearest hospital, already crowded with many families with children. It's only the start of a long night, but Master Corporal Dréon keeps his spirit up. We have this group spirit that you won't find anywhere else. All these little things that make our job unique and keep us motivated. Because even when you're exhausted, you'll always have the buddies back at the station to lift your spirit up. So here you go. Children may dream of becoming a fireman, but reality is harsh. About half of new recruits at the Paris Fire Brigade leave within a year.